Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. So if there's anything interesting, anything that you guys find interesting and would love uh, to hear our opinion about it, please drop it down below. For newcomers, welcome. Please subscribe. For anyone returning, welcome back hope you're doing all right and may you stay blessed you can find us on social media facebook and instagram as funny and just see feel free to hit us up say hi and uh we'll say hi back to you guys so today i'm actually going to be reacting to ami did that answer speaking african nice nice d and concept of god in african religions um, a big shout out to the person that suggested this and there's always that one person in the comments asking who suggested this we just uh stopped mentioning the names a long long time ago but a big 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 shout out to people that are constantly suggesting stuff a big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video okay you said that um um if you said that you know you have the, your own concept of God, and then your own concept of God, you get that you've got attributes that uh, are referred to by you from the Quran. What about the religions that are not having references, like the African religions? Do you think that, that they are in the right direction? Secondly, shall um, we have one at a time? One question at a time. Will I allow you the second question? To make me, no, no. Stay you in, stay <laughs> you, just stay you can come the, back again behind the queue. You can ask the second question. We'll give you that right. But let me answer the first. First, I will answer that first. Yes. The, the, my son is asking, what about the African religions? I says, you know, actually the African religions is no different from Islam. Allah, the concept. I'm talking about the concept. I'm asking an old Zulu. This umvelingangi. For God Almighty, this umvelingangi. Unkulunkulu means the greatest of the greatest, not a name. Unkulunkulu means the biggest of the biggest. The mightiest of the mighty is not a name. The name for God Almighty among the Zulus is umvelingangi. So I'm asking an old Zulu, what is umvelingangi? So he tells me, I'm Nimzan. He's a pure and holy spirit. A gazalian, he does not beget and is not begotten. I said, have you been reading the Quran? So what's that? No, no, he never heard the Quran. He never heard the name Quran. But he's giving me what I gave you from Surah Ikhlas. He's giving me the translation of Surah Ikhlas in his language. He's a Muslim. I go to the Sudan. I learned the language of the Dinka before going. Amazing thing, you know. The Sudanese people don't know the language of the Dinka. Like you here, you live among the Zulus and you don't know Zulu. You should be ashamed of ourselves, I tell you. You live among the Zulus, you do business with the Zulus and you don't know Zulu, there's something wrong with you. I go to Sudan on a lecture tour and before going I learned the language of the Dinka. John Garan and the Sudanese Muslims are at war. It's going on for years now. So, I learned the language of the Dinka. And now I want to practice. As soon as I land there in Khartoum, at the hotel, I go to the reception and say, you know, I was trying to learn your language. No, that's a hobby with me. No, it's a hobby with me. I learn different languages. I can give you 20 different languages now standing here. 20 different languages. Besides Zulu and Afrikaans. 20 different languages. Swahili, French, Spanish. Indonesian, Malaysian, come on man, talk, what language, Hebrew, what language you want to hear? No, that's a hobby with me. So whenever I go to a new country, I learn the language of the people. So I learn the Dinka language. So I go to these guys and I say, you know, I learned your language. I said, yes. I said, listen, see if I'm doing all right. I said, apiata bathin, we yake lik eeth, apiata inunu kweek, tijal an, nasha jil, kedu jil ashibu inunu kweek, kunalar, hikabatuj inunu kweek. He said, no, that's my, not, not my language. That's the language of that guy, that Dunga. <laughs> that, uh, uh, the porter, the porter. He was standing there tall, African. This is the language of that guy there. So I go to him. I said, you know, I come from South Africa, and I learned your language. I said, I want you to hear. And you know, I want you to help me. If I'm murdering your language, forgive me. It's not intentional. So I rattled it off. He says, very good. He said, where you learn this from? I said, learn it from the Holy Bible. I said, hey, 
Tell me now, before the white bus came here to your country, did you people know anything about God? I said, yes. I said, did you make a statue of your God? He says, no. I said, could you not people out of a wood carve out the shape of a man or an animal, lion or a donkey? He said, yes, yes. Or out of clay, could you not make the shape of a man or a woman? He said, yes. So why didn't you make a statue of your God? He says, how, sir? How can you make a statue of God? He is Nihalik. I says, what is Nihalik? What is Nihalik? In your language. He said, it means light. How can you make a statue of light? You know what he's telling me? He's telling me, Allah nur samawati wal ard. Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. He's telling me in his own language that he is light. How can you make a statue of light? I say, he's a Muslim. And we say, he's a kafir. No, no, it's a sickness, man. Learn to find common grounds. Talk to the people, man. What is this concept? And you find that he's talking what you want to tell him. He's telling you, Allah nur samawati wal ard. You should have gone and told him that that is what the Quran says. That he is the light of the heavens and the earth. The Nihalik in his language is nur. I says, you see, there is the African, to me, the African, almost every tribe that I know, south of the Zambezi, not a single tribe made images of their gods. Not a single tribe, as such, they were better than the Jews. The Jews, after hundreds of prophets coming to them, they were warned again and again that thy God is a jealous God. He shall have no other gods before him, not even the likeness of the things on earth, or in the heavens above, or in the waters beneath the sea. For he says, my name is, I am a jealous God. I shall have no other God before me. Yet they made the golden calf. The Jews. The Africans, they made no images, no statues of their gods. They are nearer to, the, to Islam than any other people of Allah. But I don't know, we are so blind, we can't see it. Talk to them, man, talk to them. Show the common grounds. That this is the same God. We want you to go back to the same concept that you had before the white bass came. Before he twisted your brains. Go back. And by going back, you're going forward. لو كان فيهما آلهة إلا الله لفسدتا فسبحان الله رب العرش عما يصفون They say joy comes in the morning and I should say my heart is quiet for I really 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 love Amit that and I'm loved everything i think from the way it goes smiling um really loved the video first of all the question that was asked was very very good and if the guy asked the second question can someone please suggest it so that i see what he asked and yeah i'd just love to see what ami did that or how ami did that answered it first of all there's a warmth about him that's just that screams or coming from a distance you know and the people that met him are very very lucky um going back to the video i'm trying to think it does make sense of course people what we should acknowledge is this before anything was actually written down before people could actually read write or do whatever they were doing people first of all people existed in a not more not in the form that exists now because now we read we write this technology all this stuff going on but with the people back then it wasn't exactly like that you know they were into a different lifestyle different period in the world and they did have gods but they didn't it was whatever they believed in didn't have like a handbook like and by handbook i'm referring to like maybe um, these holy books to guide them or anything and I feel like they did quite a good job by focusing on whatever they believed in you know no images no written book no nothing but they still paid homage to some sort of God we have to ask ourselves how did they do it then but whereas compared to now uh, there is this thing of um, holy books and whatever that follows first of all a big shout out to them for still sticking to god even in those times i just wonder i wish someone could tell us what exactly they were praying to you know because we'll never know we're not from that generation or that period in time and even before even before the missionaries came there was god yeah 
if we're green then cool but then i feel like the missionaries brought religion there should have been something god existed but then this religion came with these missionaries which is um a different topic for another day but then what does that exactly tell us so god existed a god with no images a god with no anything else and then he further explains it how he learns how he learns um, a language of the people of the country that he's visiting i feel like that's the best way to understand people and to communicate with them or actually relate to them very very clever move and the way he explains everything was just very understandable it's either i just love him too much or it was just i don't know i'm actually too too happy just watching this video and yeah there's not really much differences if you pay attention if you're interested to learn you know you'll find many many similarities it's really up to us to come here with open minds open hearts to learn not to just um judge everything that we hear or see but do critically criticize everything that you come across um compare it to whatever you have to compare it to and figure out what you're going to believe otherwise love this let me know what you guys think a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you or we'll see you in our next reaction video